Good evening. First tonight, pharmacies lit by gas lamps, shopkeepers struggling to save frozen food and rail passengers seriously delayed. They're just some of the thousands of people who've been facing continuing disruption today. That's 24 hours after the storm struck. Tonight, power companies say around 40,000 homes in the east are still not reconnected and there are still some problems on the trains. 24 hours after the great storm of 2013, the centre of Sawbridgeworth still in the dark. A few hours grace last night gave this pharmacist a chance to catch up and then the lights went out again. We're managing just about with um, emergency prescriptions. The doctors are managing to handwrite some of them, um, but obviously they have no computers, we have no computers. We're, we're doing the best we can with torches and lanterns and things like that because Obviously, we have to. People need the medication. Further down Bell Street in this Hertfordshire town, many shops haven't even opened today. But Dinesh Patel was up at 3 a.m., throwing out a thousand pounds worth of stock from his chiller. I am gutted because it's a lot of stuff gone in the bin. A lot. Only the stuff which we do sale or return, I left it for the company which came this morning and changed it. But the rest of the stuff, I had no option but to bin it because you can't sell it. It's simple as that. All the traders I've spoken to have kept in pretty good spirits. They've been helping each other out and making the best of a bad situation. But one thing they've all said is that there's been a significant lack of information. No, it's been very difficult. I thought might, we might have even got leaflet or something through the door today, but we've had nothing. When I phoned up yesterday, I was uh, told you'll wait 45 minutes to get anybody come... Uh, to talk to you on the phone. Considering they knew this one was coming, they could have acted a lot more efficiently than they have done. 